Kanye West is up first, man. I ain't gonna lie. We got a bunch of clips from Kanye. We got shit to talk about with Kanye. Um, I think it's kind of at this point. I think at this at this point it feels like it's just for publicity, right? At this point, it just feels like a thing that's getting dragged out. Kanye West, God bless him. He's he he has a message that I believe is worthy of speaking about. We talk about fathers' rights and what fathers are granted in this society, maybe even around the, maybe, probably not around the world, because I feel like men and women in other parts of society are a little bit different, but here know there. In America, when it comes to men, women, uh, what fathers can do, what fathers can't do, it's very, very lopsided. I'm never going to disagree with that. I just, you, as you know, if you've been watching me, I just had a child. We're in the hospital, right? Everything they're asking, they're only asking her. And this is not necessarily just things to do with her body. I get that. Hey, do you want to do this for your body? Yeah, I got that. Let's do it with the baby. The baby's got the baby's out now. I remember just an instance. They asked my wife something. She looked at me, asked me, hey, what do you think? I said, yeah, let's do that. And they looked back at her. Are you sure that's what you want to do? I'm like, am I not the daddy? Is my name not on that birth certificate? What, what, what? She literally asked me for confirmation. So why are you going back and asking her? So my point being is I know that there's a lot of things that dad's got to go through, whether it be child support. You know, we, we see men get raked over the coals with child support. We see baby mama tactics all over the place. But I do in, in all genuine honestly feel like Kanye West uses certain things to galvanize his audience. I've been talking about this since the beginning. You'll never hear me go against Kanye West with certain things he's talking about. The father thing, I get it. You don't just kid on TikTok? That's his kid. I get it. I saw the latest TikTok of Northwest. I don't have it to play, but it's a little, what the fuck's going on here? I fell in love with the emo girl. Like She got the black makeup on her face. Although Kim is in the video with her, as a dad, if Kanye is uncomfortable, you know, and I, it should be a conversation. Now, we know in most households, it ain't, it ain't, it's never going to, I know we, know, you know, alpha male, big dog, when I say go, da, da, but that's not reality. We can do that on the internet, you know, alpha male, woo, 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 with our women. Da, da. In reality, in the household, that's not really how shit go. It's conversations. Now, Kim will say, well, that's what North likes to do. Well, okay, we're going to have to have a conversation with everybody then. If we're gonna, it's with me, it's Kanye, Kim, North, we're going to have a conversation about this TikTok shit. And before y'all post TikToks, I would like to be in the loop of what y'all are about to post. If we're going to go by this what North really wants, right? So anyways, Kanye West yesterday got on his uh, IG and he said a prayer. And this is just an excerpt. I don't know if this is a prayer, him just talking. There's an excerpt of Kanye West's prayer. At this point, it's, it's, it's going too far. God... Please, the boyfriend texts me antagonizing me, bragging about being in bed with my wife. I thought I thought it publicly for a year and a half has been I've been dragged and how she's not my wife. She don't have a last name. And now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife. And I'm like, well, who's watching my children if he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife? And, and I thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since I got the, uh, you know, I got the lawyer to finally finish the divorce. Because every time I finish the show, the Free Hoover show, the next day she dropping the last night. Every time I do something positive, it's some negative that's coming. I go and get the laptop from Ray J. Then is she joking about divorce. I go and get the lawyer, change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce. And then somehow I'm the one that's the stalker. God. I don't think, I ain't gonna lie to Big Dog, I don't think God's listening on this one. I think God is tired of the foolishness, he's tired of the bullshit. Y'all go talk, y'all discuss. I don't think God's listening to this one. So this came out before the text messages were released by, I guess, Pete Davidson's friend who's a writer on SNL. Wasn't he, wasn't he Pete Davidson that released him, right? And we're gonna get, we're gonna talk about that aspect of it too, of Pete Davidson not being the one to release him, a surrogate being the one to release text messages between Kanye um, and him. So I just want to go over some of those messages because it's kind of, you know, 
it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of wild. So anyway, this was the first one that I saw. I saw, yo, it's Skeet. So P. Davis is even running with the Skeet. Thing. He's a comedian. You kind of got to roll with the punches. So yo, it's Skeet. Can you please take a second and calm down? It's 8 a.m. and it don't got to be like this. Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met. What she does for those kids is amazing. And you were so fucking lucky that she's your kid's mom. I've decided I'm not going to let you treat us this way anymore. And I'm done being quiet. Grow the fuck up. <clears throat> Kanye says, oh, you're using profanity? Where are you right now? And then Pete Davis responds, in bed with your wife. So, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's like that's a, like that's a sting. It's like all right, I'm doing all this because let's be let's be very clear. Kanye West can say you don't want Kim back anymore or whatever. There's still gonna be this under under underlying feelings for Kim Kardashian. Just like I would imagine if Kim sees Kanye with the woman, she ha- she might not outwardly express it, but in a way she probably feels like, you know, damn, that man was supposed to be the one I spent the rest of my life with. I love him. I did it. That that was there. I don't think I think it goes both ways. So you already know, internet, when, like, when internet sees that shit, the internet go, internet, people going crazy, dub Pete Davidson, da 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 they doing all this, they doing all that. So then, it continues. You don't scare me, bro, your actions are so pussy and embarrassing. It's so sad to watch you ruin your legacy on the daily. You're more than welcome to come to Sunday service. That's what Kanye is responding to Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson is blue, Kanye is gray. Why don't we meet after Sunday service and Saints game? I'll be at the BHH, what I would assume is the Beverly Hills Hotel. We can have food and talk at it, talk it out of my room. Privately, one-on-one, man-to-man. What you are doing to your family is dangerous, and you're going to scar them for life. Please handle these matters privately, bro. I beg you. You want to see me? Come to Sunday service. He continues, um, this ain't public, dude. I'm not here for the pictures and press, which is obviously all you care about. My offer stands. I wish you'd man up for once in your life. Um, so I'm going to read the rest of this. So, like, I, I get, like, Pete Davis is fed up. Because, like, it's, man to man. I know. Let's take, I, I like to strip this shit away. I like to strip it down to the bare minimum. Fuck it being Kanye West. Fuck it being your favorite artist. Fuck it being whoever you look. Forget who, forget all that. Man to man. If you got a guy barking on you all day, regardless of what it is, you sleep with his wife, whatever, whatever, whatever. He don't want you around the kids, whatever. It doesn't matter. He barking at you. Constant in it. Constant in it. Constant in it. It kind of. I don't want to say it died down completely because the easy video was still out there. That was still going on. I don't think he really responded in that time. But he popped up again on a nice, beautiful Sunday morning, and you still going. So at some point, I respect that Pete Davidson reached out like, all right, this is enough. I'm tired of this. Let's talk it out, man to man. Come to my room. No paparazzi. No none of that shit. Because Kanye's saying come to Sunday service. Nothing productive comes from coming to Sunday service. Nothing at all but publicity. That's it. So in that turn, it does look like Kanye West will try to use this moment for publicity. Like, the only reason you're telling Pete to come to Sunday service because you know, Pete Pete's Sunday service. Now, I think it would be very um, non-beneficial for Kanye West's ministry career for him to do anything physical or violent or outraged at a Sunday service because Sunday service is about the Lord. We're in the Lord's house. We're doing this and that. You know, so I know in the Bible there's wrath and vengeance and scorn and all that, but that's not the mood we're setting right here for Sunday service. So anyways, in that aspect, it does look like Kanye West is doing this for some type of promo publicity because we want to do it out in the open. I'm offering you man-to-man, mano mano come to my room, no cameras, no pictures. Let's just chop it up. What's really, let's get down to what really the issue is because I don't know how serious Kim and Pete are, but from how he talking, because if you're just fucking a chick and it's like, I ain't really, I don't, I ain't really caring too much, like, you got baby daddy issues, but I'm just sliding in, sliding out. I don't really want to be with you for a long time. Anyways, it seems like Pete want to, you know, possibly, potentially be here for a while at least. So while I'm here, let's try to make this as amicable as possible. Also, that your girlfriend, Pete's probably seeing Kim, you know, I don't want to say, in anguish every day or whenever Kanye's posting, right? So he tells him to pull up. But it seems like he's trying to, like, little boy kind of. I'm like, you pussy, you're embarrassing, your legacy. Like, you talk, like, I get it. He been going at you, but you're talking real spicy. And I'm not one of those people that's in the in the mindset that, you know, Kanye's a black guy, Pete's a white guy. He can automatically take him. I'm not I'm not in that mindset. Or he's a rapper. He's I'm, I'm not in that mindset. I know a lot of people have that mindset, but that's not me. But let's finish. 
Let me know. Uh, let me help you, man. I struggle with mental health stuff, too. It's not an easy journey. You don't have to feel this way anymore. There's no shame in having a little help. You'll be happy and at peace. You have no idea how nice I've been to you despite your actions towards me. I've stopped SNL from talking about uh, talking about or making fun of you, which they wanted to do for months. I've stopped stand-up comedians from doing he, He's went on and on and on. Like, pretty much like, I'm protecting you out here. People wouldn't talk shit about you. I'm telling them, no, don't do that. No, don't do this. Now, can I be honest for a second? I don't think P's doing that for Kanye. P's doing that for Kim. Because what? anytime I talk about Kanye and Kim, or Pete and Kim, Everybody, well, she brought him to SNL to see her kiss his new boyfriend. That's what everybody tells me. So you would have to believe that if Pete Davidson on SNL, your show continues to discuss Kanye West, what's Kanye West going to do? He's going to continue to tie, not the whole show, Pete Davidson to the reason that SNL is shitting on him. He's going to tie it into his narrative that look at the mainstream leftist Hollywood meat. Look what they're doing to me. That's what he's going to do. And he does it well because people feed into that shit. I don't, I, I don't know. Now you, you school me. I don't know what the hell this got to do with politics when it comes to Kanye West. I don't know what this got to do with leftist or any of those things. And you'll say, because he's free of thought, he's a free thinker. He did all that shit, right? If you actually go to what's being talked about in politics, not bullshit social, when you go to what's actually being talked about in politics on the biggest politics shows, left or right, it has nothing to do with Kanye West. At all. Nobody's talking about Kanye West unless it's a pop culture thing. That's it. As far as right now. So for Kanye's thing of thinking that, oh, the leftists are after me. I think it's just another way to bring in another type of element to the conversation. Because we have, he, he's brought up the black man and the white woman and how they do this, how they do that. You bring the politics, that's divisive. We bring this and we bring that. Like he's bringing in elements that are real, but to put onto himself and then make that a part of the story as well. When they might not even be a part of the story at all. But it'll be easy for us as consumers, as viewers, to put those pieces to the puzzle together, and that's what I would assume Kanye West would want. And like I said, in no way do I not think that Kanye doesn't want the best for his kids. He don't want his kids on TikTok. Get the f- hey, the man ain't comfortable with the girls be on TikTok. Or at least he's not comfortable with the way y'all doing certain things on TikTok. And that should be addressed, that should be spoken about. I agree with that. Kanye West wants to see his kids. It should be set up to where he can see his kids. But if we're being honest, like I said, we don't know the ins and outs. We don't know the behind the scenes. But since these things, I've seen his kids with him, you know, throughout times. Now, obviously, the kids are in school, so we see Kanye at the Heat game. He's in Miami this day. He's in Atlanta this day. He's in New York this day. Obviously, they can't bounce around, so they're not going to be with him forever. So I guess his thing is, hey, I'm going to travel around all week, but when I come to L.A., I want them to be with me on these days. We just saw them with him at the Super Bowl. We saw them with him at the Black Future Brunch. Whenever we see Kanye out, I think we even seen him at a Sunday service at one point. When we see Kanye out, his kids are typically with them. So I don't know if this is a narrative thing because children pull up the heartstrings. We're in this battle for children right now. The school boards, the moms, the dads, the everybody uh, trying to protect the kids. We got the some weird thing I've seen recently, like sexy summer camp. But the kids are under attack, and I know because I'm seeing what's going on. We got the Florida bill. Don't say gay. They're saying, oh, they're trying to discriminate. I'm not getting into all that, but, you know, it's out there. Kids are a primary focus in politics right now. 